Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Thanks you guys for all your fun participation in all the contests over on Instagram right now. If you guys want to come join, I'm having fun gold coin giveaways, the Zodiac coins, some readings, crowns, all kinds of fun stuff throughout the week. So come on over and join. All the listings are there. You'll be able to see what they are. It's a lot of fun. So thanks all you guys. So today's read is going to be about um, how you're using your intuition, your messages, your... Um, you know, innate feeling of moving in the right direction continually for your best benefit and um, what's going to come into alignment and what attributes are going to pop up because of that. I notice as I try new things and go to new places and we assess information and we get a new perspective, um, new gifts come to us, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing things. Um, we form nice kind of uh, friendships with kindred spirits along the way. So all this fun stuff is happening. So we have three choices to choose from. We're going to see, you know, what's happening in your immediate path with these people, with these opportunities and all these things that are going to kind of like a grace our atmosphere that are coming in in this new year, because it is really powerful. And it's like, it's the giving tree. It's there for the plucking, but we have to look for it and identify what it is we do want, right? You ever go in an apple orchard and you just start grabbing apples and putting them all in the bag without examining them first you know you'll get a lot of ones that might have worms in it or they're too ripe or whatever we have to really look and examine at what we want to keep and what we want to let go so we have room in our life for it as well so we have three cards to choose from number one is the owl number two is the hawk and number three is the wolf so I'll let you guys make your decisions and if we start with number one right here, if, if you chose the owl, I feel like this is definitely the card of the wise teacher. And you're being advised right now to use your knowledge really carefully because you're not just imparting information when you communicate the energy and your aura is raising the frequency of those around you. When you speak to people, you're helping, you're helping and enlightening them. I feel like this is part of your sacred mission that you realize you do have an effect on people and they do look up to you. They like to hear you, listen to you and be around you. So when you're in a good mood and you're welcoming, they feel good about themselves and they feel good about the direction they're doing. You ever like walk in a room when you were younger and you just thought your outfit was the best thing and all of a sudden your one of your brothers or a family member started to make fun of it and all of a sudden you start to second guess yourself and think maybe you don't look so super fly, right? It's all those little influences and words that affect us. So I feel like you're so positive that people really come to you to feel good about themselves and you kind of propel them back in the right direction and they lose a the self-doubt they lose the fear they lose all of that um, self-criticality that can stop people in their footsteps and you offer really smart guidance because owl service teachers at night they gather together elements in their area and impart knowledge and wisdom that help them ascend um, they are very protective they're also they also clear lower energies from their particular territory and are helped in this with cats as well. So some species of owl hoot or screech, others growl, they chirp, they whistle, they make all different sounds. And it's just different levels for them to communicate. But again, when we tap into our natural wisdom that says when we think with our soul and we think with our heart, we're usually directed in the right direction because it's a more um, selective, slower, calmer pace or the more discerning eye instead of an impulse logistical knee-jerk reaction that often comes from just the subconscious just I've always done it this way so I'll do it again it's not the greatest but you know it hasn't killed me that type of mentality where it's just in a comfort zone but you're not growing and you're not expanding the owl says you know what there's always a better smoother way and so if we try things um, we can alleviate a lot of um, struggle debt pain any of that by trying things different ways which is really nice so let's see what is coming up and what some of your attributes are or what's going to be coming in for you. Ooh, so you have the rebel, you have lover. Whoa. So let's start with these two eight. Now the light attributes, I, I'm not doing the shadow attributes. That's for a different specific kind of read for um twin flame energy that I use that for. But in terms of this, I feel like you challenge authority or you're going to, to the effect that social change is going to come around. You reject spiritual systems. I like to say religious systems that don't serve your inner needs. You know, like you don't need organized religion necessarily. You really think for yourself, um, you're not going to just take some antiquated idea and, um, swallow it whole and be like, yeah, sure. Because the Catholics say this or the 
or whomever, you know, the Jewish culture says this or whatever, you have questions you want to know. Um, and I feel like you kind of integrate the best parts of religions into your spirituality and have a certain understanding of it. And, you know, you understand that you are a distinctive thinker. You're an original. You don't really care to follow the pack in any of this sort of um, mentality that, you know, it fascinates you. It fascinates you, their cultures, their um, religions, their gods and goddesses, all of that. So you like to structure your belief system in a way that works for you. Now, you also have the lover's card. So is this a great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation to someone or something? I feel <coughs> you... This group, you have someone coming in the near future. It's funny. It's kind of a division. Some of you guys, I feel like you're going to um, attempt something, a new kind of hobby, and you're absolutely going to adore it, and it's going to become a lifelong pursuit, and you're actually going to reach quite expert level at it, whether it's dancing, painting, singing. It's some creative expression you've been wanting to do for some time. Somebody mentions it to you. Oh, you know, you have rather a knack for this. And you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll look into that. And then you take a class and it could be anything. Candle making, scents, perfume, oils, all of that. And all of a sudden you just love and adore everything about it. And you cultivate this really great environment. And it's very soothing for you. It's very recreational. And then you can actually turn it into um, a business because you love it. And it's something you could do all day and you have a fun time doing it. I love that. I feel like some of you are, want to do like interior designing. You want to do like coaching all bunch of things and you're going to follow your passion and then be absolutely phenomenal at it. And then there's another portion of the group where I do feel like your soulmates are coming in. Boom, 2020, right after that, there is a rush coming in. Everybody is elevated in their frequency and the direction they're going. They're feeling good. They're looking better. They're taking care of themselves. Therefore, they're reading all the synchronicities and the signs and they know what's arriving and they're handling it. Everything beautifully, like really suave, nothing is going to take you under. You just are not going to be distracted by pettiness. You're not going to go too far in the future worrying about bills or people going away or this or that or loss or any lack of mentality. You're just focused on the here and now, which when we are aware and we are completely present on what's going on, some really genuine, beautiful things occur in like ways that we could never expect. Because again, when we let go and let spirit do its job, it's always going to deliver way more than, um, you know, we thought that we deserved at times too, because lots of times we ask for very small things, but you know, you're worthy of good things. You are a high value person. So you deserve more than you could ever imagine. And now it's the time that, um, the universe is bringing this in for you. You know, it's like, Hey, you are in for a loving surprise and you have one more card, the otter card. I feel like by planting these seeds working, you know, this is your little, like, um, seven of pentacles moment you've prepared work you've built that dam you have your boundaries you have things in place you've rectified um little skirmishes and, and problems and now you're at a place where you just you want drama free beautiful time to yourself and you're getting ready to create and enjoy the spoils of you know your hard work so it's about rest and relaxation and floating around for a while and really seeing what's out there and who you want as company and what you want to do and maybe plan a trip something really nice something light and bright and sunny because it's that kind of energy for you right now so beautiful energy group one if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe <coughs> all my links are down below i'm gonna need a water break in a second i love that look how happy she is with her heart yeah, some of you guys are chasing down a dream and you're catching it. You're educating yourself where you need to be. You're taking voice lessons if you want to sing. A lot of you guys are having acting coaches. You want to act all of that. Stepping into this new beautiful power. Beautiful group one. Love it. All my links are down below. Press like and subscribe if you like this, guys. I'm very excited where we I've we found this deck. I love this deck. It's one of my favorites. Um all right, what? Let's go on to number two. I don't know where the box top is. Now we are on to number two, which is the hawk. I love this because the hawk energy is, you know, you're kind of soaring above the, um, the crowd. You're kind of off on your own, and you know, flying with great courage directly into whatever storms. Um, it doesn't matter. You are impressive at this time. You are flying high. You recognize your own ascended glory and that you, you have this new perspective that, Hey, I really can achieve anything. When I <laughs> apply myself, look around, take my time, start to classify 
and identify what's really important to me and what's going to help me achieve these goals in a way where um, <clears throat> I don't have to have any undue stress. I don't have to take away from anybody else and I can do it kind of humbly and under the radar and really do it beautifully because you're putting time, effort and your heart into it is going to play pay huge dividends to you. And that's kind of like the hawk, you know, they're getting that hawk eye in on zooming in on what really is um, considered a prize for them, job, person, um, life path, really taking your time and being able to go in and get what it is you need that's going to make you happy because you know again life is about all these beautiful little luxuries i love that you got the liberator card so i'm not using the bottom portion that's for a different type of read but the attributes of this is you'll be freeing yourself from others from outmoded beliefs releasing negative thought patterns again it was kind of like group ones any old antiquated ideas about how you're supposed to behave or general um you know um gender specific things like that. You're, <clears throat> you're just breaking out of that glass ceiling and going, listen, and you're helping other people do this too. Um, you're realizing that, wow, I really was kind of in my subconscious of hearing things when I was younger. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, I can't do that unless I'm certified for that. I can't attain that unless I do this, blah, 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 blah. Somebody else's idea of what an accomplishment is, was thrust upon you. And yours is quite a different take on the world and yourself and where you want to go. So you're like, I just heard that so often that I thought maybe I had to be that, do that, or think that way, but I actually don't. That may be part of my family's culture. That may be a generational thing, but um, I now have a deeper sense of knowing how things work and how energy works and how focus and, you know, being abundant in the law of attraction works. So I'm liberating myself from any of this and I'm completely moving away from any of these, um, outdated, um, pre you know, premises because it just, all it does is condition people. It shrinks their world. It makes for smaller thinking. And you realize, no, I really want to go out and advance in my life, not sit still nor go backwards. Right? So you also have the mystic light attributes. Are you revels in intimate union with the divine? So you're entering the stage where you, you know, mysticism is really going to be compelling to you. All the beautiful, um, teachings, all the different, everything like runes and tarot and Oracle and all of that, the teachings, the speakings, um, Celtic, all, everything that comes from, you know, um, holistic approaches as well. I'm very interested in that too. And Eastern medicines, things like that, things that advance our society yet are ancient because they are tried and true, right? Herbs, pharmaceuticals, 90 nine percent of everything that comes out of pill is an, or originally an element of the earth seas um trees stuff that grows on that and um chinese and eastern practices usually are the pure mushrooms the pure things they don't then dilute it with all these other things that big like pharmaceutical companies do they're just pure essences and you're you're getting really interested in that and i feel like your intuition is really heightened to a to a thing where it kind of spooks you out and it happens on occasion, like when you just know verbatim what somebody's going to say, what they're going to do, what they're going to be wearing, how they're going to behave, all of that. And that's also part of, you know, being, having an understanding of the human behavior. But I mean, to a degree where you're like, wow, I knew that detail was coming. I knew you were going to wear like one moon and one star earring. It's like, you'll see these things, you'll hear these things, um, all those things where, you know, you just chime in perfectly at the same time. But the good thing about that is you're going to be able to head off any um, altercations, any kind of fire ups, any kind of overreactions because you're realizing where, where people's motives lie. And when people act a little strange, it usually comes from fear, right? They're fear. They're not going to get what they want. They, they fear they're not going to get enough attention, love or whatever. So they get a little, you know, turned up, they get a little bit extra, they get a little bit of attention seeking, but you're going to have this beautiful calmness about because you're realizing that, you know, people just want to be seen and heard and you're going to have a gentle approach to all of that. Oh, that's nice. You also have the goddess which is saying the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life, forth, and sensuality. Well, you just really feel good. You're going to start to feel beautiful male or female, you know, balance. You're going to be caring for yourself, having nice hot baths, doing some like facials, just little things where you treat yourself and you remind yourself that you're a special individual and it's time to care and cuddle for yourself. It's very hard for me to do this at times, like, especially when I'm not feeling well, it's like, I like to keep busy and working, but I'm like, listen, you need several naps. You really need to stay hydrated, this and that. Even when I'm doing my nails or I just do some little lovely touch that says, you know, I care for myself and um, I'm taking care of my physical self. You feel better, right? You get a really good manicure or a facial or a new haircut or something that, you know, 
let let you know that you're maintaining this 3D body in the best way that you can and putting your best foot forward. Just think if nobody ever bothered to ever um, put any effort into how they look. Like they never brushed their hair. They never put on chapstick even. Um, everybody just wore the same gray sweatsuits. How boring, washed out, and um, gray the world would look, right? That's why I love vibrancy. I love people like Betsy Johnson that are just like a ta-da, you know, everything, color bursting from everywhere, fun hair, everything, stuff like that, just lively and invigorated. And that's how you feel after these. So, you know, get your nails painted like a beautiful cranberry color, bright red for the season, um, and, and really tap into that. Cause you feel good after you do that, maybe a massage and the energy feels really good and you're deserving of it. So the last attribute that you're going to notice too is your angel angel helping those in need with no expectation of return I feel like you're a very giving soul and you want to see people happy you know who can't necessarily afford something or won't ask for something and I feel like a, a, the generosity of your heart you'll always um supply that to them you know there's no stinginess if they're I was listening to a reader chat I thought that's so true there there are some people um, that yeah, he had pulled the six of coins card and he was saying there are some people where it's painful for them to actually part with anything that is um, monetarily based or has um, any kind of value, high value to it because it's almost painful for them because they have such a lack mentality or perhaps when they were younger, everything was really tight. They've never been able to relinquish that fear of not having enough. So they hoard and hang on to and it's very hard and I feel that stinginess will unless people really work on and recognize it, it doesn't go away and it's very apparent to others you ever go out to dinner with somebody and they're like oh by the way I only had a coke and one appetizer and like they go on and on about it there's something in that that is such a lack of generosity and and I understand you know if you're with friends and you don't want to be taken advantage of and everybody had a lot of stuff but they're consistently like that like they always have to down to the penny I've never done that in fact it's like I go way on the other end of the scale if it's like if somebody's really friendly especially if it's near Christmas and if I'm just getting a coffee and I hand a 20 I'll just drive away it's like I know what that industry is I know how hard it is um it's like we can't the stinginess creates this fear, first of all, that you're going to have what you lose and you're not going to be able to maintain it. And or that if you give away this money or tip this or buy this, that you won't have something for something else. When we start to think that, that creates a blockage. Unlike the angel light attribute of just helping people, nothing, expecting nothing in return, a myriad of things come back to you in such ways that you can never, ever know. I'm not kidding. I can't even count the amount of times that I have tipped really well and then found double on the sidewalk, did something and then been home, come home. And then somebody sent me a whole bunch of things from Patreon, something like that. There's just, there's miraculous ways that we get paid and we're back and we always feel abundant. So if you ever feel the urge to give to somebody, just do that. It feels so good. We, when we know, we really look around our homes and where we live and the things that we have, we always have an abundance around us. And, you know, one person's trash can be an absolute another person's treasure too. You know, I remember once giving away, um, I had this beautiful, it was a, it was a faux fur cause I won't wear real fur, but it was a really beautifully well done one. And I saw this lady handing out newspapers and it was snowing and it was freezing. And I just handed it to her out my car window. I mean, it wasn't extraordinarily expensive. It was you know, just a couple hundred dollars or whatever. But I was like, this lady had on, she, I'm serious. She had a parka on and she was selling newspapers and I was like, no way. And I remember like establishing a friendship with her and her name was Mary. And I would talk to her because she was always in the same place. And I remember just having a lovely rapport with her after that. Cause I thought, how many coats do I have in my closet for God's sakes, things like that. And it, you can make a huge difference in someone's life by a simple gesture. And I feel like you're continually doing that anyway, but remember about that. They, you're not going to lack. You're not going to do without because you do that. In fact, your life is going to be enriched to a higher degree and Hawk energy knows that because they see the big picture they're out there that wingspan is out that beautiful um hawk mentality zooming right in on where that food is where the opportunity is all of that to enrich your life so beautiful energy group too marvelous if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read if you want to go to my etsy store I'm loading it up with all cool new Christmas things. I'm really excited. So, um, love and light to you guys. Now we're on to Wolf. I like this because Wolf, um, card, this is you do well in groups. You travel, you know, wolves travel in packs. There's a kind of beautiful, um, hierarchy to it and a family unit and a cohesion. And it's really beautiful. And I feel like, you know, 
you're always going to feel safe and feel like you have kindred spirits around you too. And I feel like this card comes up too when we're asked to look at the structure of our family life, our friendships, including those with our work colleagues. Colleagues, are we loyal to each other? Do we respect each other? Do you all relate to each other for the highest good? Are you disciplined or chaotic in your lifestyle? That kind of thing. Because when you think of the wolf pack, everybody really does have a way. They watch each other's backs when they're hunting. They have a certain pattern that they follow. So your family reflects you. So are you loyal to yourself? Are you respectful of yourself? Do you make choice for your highest good? So you're reminded that, you know, spiritual discipline is the foundation of true happiness and joy. That's just saying, looking out for yourself and saying, yeah, is this for my highest good? Am I doing anything that's detrimental or punitive to myself just because I think I don't deserve it? You always deserve it. You always deserve the best and probably way, way much more than you even think you do. You know, people ask so small and spirit is like, you know what, you are hugely valuable. You deserve so much more and I feel like you're going to become this beautiful magnet for light love and joy and you know you're going to have these um experiences that are going to make you grow and feel good so let's start with your first two attributes that are coming up again I don't attain I don't use the bottom shadow I use that for a different kind of twin read a little swig of water my throat's doing much better so when I have the when I have the clarity of speech, I like to come do the reading so you guys can hear me. And it's funny, I always get to the third card and there's like five minutes left. And that's when my throat's like, eh, I'm not working anymore. It's too funny. So you're going to pick up some cool artistic attributes. You know, you're going to be able to express a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. I feel like whether it's through sculpture, music, you know, any of those painting writing all of these things that carve out this beautiful imagery and idea. And it's going to be a wonderful way for you to express yourself. Again, source travels directly through us to create these things of beauty on magic. Have you ever just made something and go, I can't believe I just painted that. Or I can't believe I just started with a blank page. And now there's all this gorgeous poetry or lyrics or something that have arrived on it. Cause when source is working through us, we create things of magnificent and that are so beautiful that we don't think we're sometimes even capable of, but it's almost like a meditative state where we're pulling and accessing the highest frequencies of everything about that particular skill set and beautifying it and making it into an offering to the world, right? It's gorgeous. So try things. If you haven't set your hand to something you want to do, start to do it. Cause I feel like, you know, you're going to be a natural at it. And then you can always enhance it. Like when I started making jewelry, I was nowhere near the level I am. I couldn't do intricate collars, crowns and all of that. I didn't know the met, you know, the metallurgy and all of that. And, and, and before, um, I remember that I was in, in such a rush before I was doing things that I didn't think to wear my pieces around myself to see if they were comfortable and nothing poked jab or was mismanaged in the weight department or anything or see how it fell. But slowly and gradually you start to perfect those little things and you realize a piece of jewelry, especially if it's like a collar and it's intricate, um, it has to lay and fall a certain way or you get, you know, on the collarbone, you get things that flip over. You have to do it correctly. So you start to take your time and then you realize oh, well, the cool thing is now, now I know what a quality stone is just by looking at it. I don't even really have to even touch it where before, you know, with the cuts and clarity and all of that and different things, you know, I can tell what's real right away too. It's amazing. And I feel like that's like, what's going to happen to you that you're going to have a really fine eye for detail in your artistry. And it's going to be amazing. I feel like some of you want to try calligraphy, things like that. Now I love this healer and light attribute. So passion to service by others, by repairing the body, mind, and spirit ability to help transform pain into healing. I feel like some of you guys are Reiki healers and funnily enough, I feel like a lot of you guys, um, you do, you understand the exchange of energy and that there is deep healing when you're around the right type of people and frequency, right? I can feel completely like stressed or wound up and I will put somebody who has a magnificent voice and a good speaker that I like the cadence of their voice, like she bear her lovely lilting Irish accent. And I feel mellow immediately and I feel good. She has a very healing, wonderful voice. Um, that's because I'm very sensitive to sound. Someone's voice is very important to me and it's very rich and low and, you know, lilting and I really love it and it's healing. And 
it's a good cadence. That's important. Also music. Music is extremely soothing and beautiful. Anything that I can hear that's attractive to me, I'm like, yay. And I feel like you're, you're part of that process. Like the way you speak and move around people. It's very gentle. It's very loving. It's very um, helpful to them as well. So you also have the pioneer spirit. This came up before too. I feel like you have a passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. I just think you're a really original thinker and people are like, I would have never thought of it that way. That's ingenious. You know, you, you, you kind of circumnavigate the complexities and you simplify so you're able to come through to a really great way I'm able to do that with computers at work like register style computers because I don't put like extensive thought into it because that's not my area and I know nothing about them so I do it kind of just intuitively like if I press this I think and, and oftentimes more often than not it used to work and um I feel like you're going to be able to do that, think outside the box and resolve problems or any of those little things that other people are a little skittish to approach because it seems like overwhelming, but because you're able to simplify it and just be like, you see it in a different way, you shrink the problem instead of magnify it. You're like, oh, I've got this. And that's going to help you be, um, uber in demand in the work field. Now, lastly, yay. <coughs> Un momento. You see what I mean? 25 minutes on the dot. My throat's always like, watch this. So we're going to wrap this up with your queen attributes. You radiate a very regal feminine. And I'm going to turn this around also to a regal king, um, beautiful masculine energy using benevolent authority to protect others. I feel like, you know, you stand up for the underdog. You stand up for people that can't necessarily stand up for themselves. And you're very brave about it. And you're not um, arrogant and you're not... Um, detached from situations where you feel passionate about something because you don't like bullies. I feel like you don't like people that try to take advantage of other people. And you're also going to see that power and how you're able to protect, heal and help others. You're going to start to do that for yourself as well and see your value and ask yourself, hmm, have I been getting the appropriate raises? Have I been letting anybody speak to me or take advantage of me in a little way just because I'm nice and I've been paying attention? Now I might really put on those truth goggles and have a look around because I feel a little more discerning. I know that I'm worthy of um, great things. So I'm not going to be bogged down by any pettiness and um, silliness. And I really want to be able to focus on all the good things. And you're going to be able to do that and ascertain what those good people, places and things are for you and move ahead in a really rapid pace and be able to, you know, to be selective and pluck all these opportunities off like rich little grapes from a vine. You're just ready. You understand it. And you know, your time is now to seize all these things and success is right there for you. So beautiful energy group three. I love that for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. My name is Melanie. All my links are down below. If you need a private read, come to the Etsy store, check out all my rings and my goodies. And I make handcrafted, um, pieces if you see something in there and you're like just message me oh melanie i saw this it looks sold out are you able to duplicate it can i have it in this size blah 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 blah. i'll look through my inventory of beads see how i see what my schedule is like and usually i can do these things like within the week for you guys and if you order something for my store i have it out to you within 24 hours so um anybody who orders very soon is going to have it before christmas because i you know i get it in that priority and then boom two days it is with you guys so Love and light to you. Good wolf energy. Yeah, really look through your pack, who you're running with right now. Make sure everybody is loyal together, tight, and nobody's trying to sub, um, using sub, you know, um, sabotage or subdifuge or doing something to manipulate anybody else. And I feel like you're, you're soon moving up to that leadership position of your pack, your tribe, because you're feeling really, um, emboldened you're feeling empowered and you're ready you're just ready to do this and i'm really excited for you so love and light to you guys i'm going to go upload